My goodness, have I been really picking up my 2023 movie watching. It is time for whew, the worst movie I have seen so far this year. And that is the Netflix original Spy Kids Armageddon. Did I expect it to be the worst film of the year? No. Did I expect it to be great? Also, no. I expected it to be mediocre that played on my nostalgia of growing up with the original Spy Kids movies. This absolutely stunk. Now, let's talk about it a little bit. So, Spy Kids Armageddon um, is about this code called Armageddon that is pretty much the master key it it is a piece of software that just lets you hack into anything and just be like okay oh inconvenient door that requires technology to open did you armageddon and it just it it's literally just a plot device it is a pure plot device and i don't usually get upset at these things but what's upsetting about this film is the nature of it all and the moral of the story where in most movies they try to be little subtle with it barbie was a not so subtle pick like a version of this but it still like was an entertaining film and it had some fun sequences that were like entertaining funny it was funny uh, this movie has none of that it just beats you over the head with its message where it is also just a stupid message in the context of the story that they're in it is a spy story and it talks about how you need to be honest all the time like i understand like how it could work but you give it to the one character, like the character who uh, is in charge of delivering this moral, is the most annoying brat imaginable. Always constantly, like, riding in on her high horse, going, Yes, we need to be honest with each other because honesty is the best policy. And it is so, so annoying that it is insufferable throughout the whole film and the story. And what I have to say about this, you know what, I'll just, I'll, I'll rant a little bit more later. But the story sucks. It is awful. It is, mm, no score. I'm not giving it a goddamn score here. No score. Um, the cinematics, um, it's alright. This is not the best Robert Rodriguez has done. And it's actually far from the best. It is actually the worst. I feel bad saying this because he actually did release another movie earlier this year called Hypnotic, which I actually did really enjoy. Um, this one, not, no, no. In terms of Spy Kids, this is the worst Spy Kids. And what's even worse about this one is that the cinematics are very similar to uh, Spy Kids 3D. And so is the story. I'll get into more of that later. But this, like, it doesn't really have that much music. It takes, it does play the original Spy Kids theme, which was very nice to see. But it doesn't really do much other than just, like, subtly play that every once in a while. So it was kind of, like, lacking. The action wasn't too good. There's a random, like, sword fight in the middle or near the middle or in the beginning. I don't remember. It is so unmemorable of a film. That it is, it, it's, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm also not willing to give this a score because it, like, I can think of so many better options, but it, it's, it's literally that frozen hot pocket that you didn't cook properly, so you bite into it and it's sturdy as a brick. Um, it, it's, it's, yeah. and the directing actually wasn't that bad. Robert Rodriguez. Was, was he did a eh, job he could have done better and i've seen him do better which is why this is so infuriating for me like i've seen him direct better i've seen him write better like this 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 just stunk i'm sorry like nothing about this was entertaining <laughs> nothing 
it literally just kept reminding me of old spy kids back when okay i need to get this off my chest real quick for a spy kids movie there aren't that many spy kids why haven't there been multiple spy kids since spy kids the original trilogy like every like subsequent sequel after the original spy kids trilogy have been like leaving the spy kids out of it and they're like just regular kids who become spies in the in the first three they were like they already knew that their parents were spies and they became spies pretty shortly after i don't know if i'm just remembering the first one wrong but i remember the other two and they were like in an organization full of spy kids I, d d d tiny rant over um but i'll give the directing i'll give the directing a hot pocket score though this time i'll give it a score the rest don't deserve a score though the acting is all right it like most of them are like just you can tell that they're just there for a paycheck except like the actress who portrays patty does an all right job it's just that her material was so fucking annoying that it's unfortunate um, so I'm not even going to give this one a score. I'm literally refusing to give any of these a score at this point, but the directing can get a hot pocket score. My expectations and experience, um, I didn't expect much. I expected it to just be some fun nostalgia, and instead I got bullshit. Just literal bullshit and dog shit. Like, I am swearing so much right now. Like, I typically try to avoid the swearing to see, uh, you know, first, like, trying to get that monetization up, you know, trying to get to the status quo but god this this just so lifeless and it just tried to bat you over the head with its message about honesty is the best policy and you shouldn't cheat because cheaters never prosper it's so bad so bad goodness gracious i just awful so yeah um i don't know if you could tell but this is a certified hot pocket hand grenade you were expecting something and you got some the complete opposite you got the worst possible option it is so bad so unenjoyable and so be happy that i watched it so you didn't have to um so yeah that was a waste of an hour and a half but i'm happy i could warn you guys my faithful audience before you decide to watch this on Netflix. Do yourself a favor and just watch Spy Kids 3D if you want to watch Spy Kids. If you want to watch this one, just watch Spy Kids 3D instead. Same movie, except a better. And that's what I have to say. They literally go into a video game and the life bars are the exact ones that they used in the, the, the Spy Kids 3D. It is, they literally just stole from themselves. But so yeah tiny ran over that's all i needed to say that's what i wanted to say earlier this is just a worse version of spy kids 3d and I, maybe if i rewatch it i'll be like oh yeah spy kids 3d was not that good either but nostalgia will be hiding that one from me but yeah other than that subscribe if you haven't already comment down below if you liked spy kids just any spy kids um and uh subscribe if you haven't already i know i said that but subscribe and uh, other than that, I'll leave you guys to it.